the basic basics of Blender in five minutes. The first thing you need to know in Blender are the panel or region names. For now, let's name the four regions that you see the first time you open the program. This is called the scene or the main view. This is called the timeline or the animation timeline. This is the outliner and this is the properties area. The first time you open Blender, you have to set your preferred main mouse button. Go to edit, preferences, key map, click the drop down menu and choose Blender and then change the mouse from here and also set the spacebar action to search. This will be really useful when you're editing later on. I'll leave a link in the description down below for the most basic Blender hotkeys. They will make your life much easier, so make sure to check that out. To maximize the currently active area, press Ctrl space. This works with any area or view as long as your mouse is inside that area. Now let's get to work. The main object manipulation tools are S as in scale, R as in rotate, and G as in move. Uh, anyways, you can also press N to show or hide this transform panel, which becomes very handy when you need to do accurate manipulation. This small dot here is called the origin. If your mouse is close to the origin, you will notice that scaling or rotating becomes crazy. So make sure your mouse is a bit far away like so for a smoother control. We have two main modes in Blender, object mode and edit mode. In object mode, you can deal with single objects as a whole. For example, I can select and move or scale or rotate this cube separately, or I can do the same with the sphere. But in edit mode, I can start manipulating a vertex separately by pressing 1, an edge by pressing 2, or a face by pressing 3. You can switch between edit and object mode using tab. You can switch between the sub modes using 1, 2, and 3. Okay, now let's talk about how to view our scene. For the axis, Z is up, X is the red or the pink one, and Y is the green one. To pan or move the screen around, hold shift while dragging the middle mouse button. To rotate, click and drag the middle mouse, to zoom, simply scroll or hold control while dragging the middle mouse. Okay, now let's say you want to see your object from different sides. Holding Alt, then clicking and dragging with the middle mouse button will switch between different views. As you can see here, I'm switching between front, back, left, right and top views. This switches to something called orthographic view. To go back to the normal or perspective view, just use the middle mouse button without pressing Alt. You can also quickly switch between camera views by pressing the tilde button on your keyboard then using the numbers on the screen. Blender has four preview modes. You can switch between them by holding the Z button then choosing with the mouse. Solid preview will show you the objects in gray. It's the most comfortable preview to work in. Material preview will show the colors or textures that we will apply to the object. We will do that in another video though. Wireframe preview will show you the inside of the object. Kinda like it was sketched only using lines. Finally, rendered preview. This shows the light, shadows, and colors. You shouldn't work in this mode though, because it's a bit stressful on your hardware, especially if you have a potato PC like mine. It's just used to see how everything will look if you decide to render your scene. Now let's play with some objects. To add a new object, press Shift A and choose from the menu. To delete an object, press X D or simply press delete. To duplicate, press Shift D. To select all objects, press A. To deselect everything, press Alt A. To hide an object, select it and press H. To bring it back, simply click the small eye icon in the outliner. To hide everything in the scene except the selected object, press Shift H. To unhide everything, press Alt H. Okay, now let's put our knowledge to test by deleting everything and trying to create something really quick. First, I'll go to front view by pressing tilde, then choosing front. Shift A to create a cube. With the cube selected, I'll press Shift D to duplicate it. And then I'll press G X to just move it on the X axis. Then I'm gonna scale it down only on the Z axis by pressing S then Z. I'll move it up by pressing G Z. Then let's duplicate Shift D. Now move it by G X only on the X axis. Let's duplicate again Shift D. And now I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna click it and type 45 on the keyboard as in 45 degrees. Now let's move it down. I'm gonna duplicate. Now R Z 180. To rotate it around itself basically around the Z axis. I'm gonna move it using GX again and now I'm gonna shift A but this time I'll create an icosphere for the head. Now let's move it up by pressing GZ and now we have this funny looking dude but if you rotate around you will notice that he's looking kind of thick so we're gonna make him lose some weight by pressing A to select everything and then shift and click the head to deselect it. Now SY to scale only on the Y axis and we're done. Now let's export our dude into FBX format. Click File, Export, FBX, and then save it. If you want to import it, just go to File, Import, then choose FBX or Object or whatever format you want to import. And that was everything for today, boys and girls. Now you're ready to start exploring and diving deep into Blender. Go ahead and smash like and subscribe to fuel me to make more videos because I'm such a lazy ass, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, see you in the next one.